Okay, hello guys. So, yeah. So, as you can see from the title, I'll be comparing Mia St. Clair, Girl of the Year 2008, and uh, Truly Me number 37. Okay, since um, I checked American Girl Wiki and I saw that a Truly Me number 37 is actually a dead ringer or very, very similar to Mia St. Clair, which is, as I mentioned, 2008's Girl of the Year. So, luckily, I was able to have both dolls. And yeah, upon seeing them both closely, they do look very, very similar. Okay, so let me just give you a, bit, a brief overview of how I came across these two dolls. So, the first one I got was this... Um, Truly me number 37 okay so at first when I first got her I really thought that she was Mia since you know they really look so similar they could be twins okay but then upon closer in fact inspection so it turns out that she's not she's truly me number 37 um, initially I was really not thinking or I thought I would never have a Mia doll Okay, so I just named her Mia, so she will be my substitute for Mia St. Clair. But just a few days ago, I was lucky enough to get um, a second-hand Mia St. Clair, and she was sold for a very low price, so immediately grabbed her. <laughs> However, she is kind of beat up, so I'll just show you a clip on of how she looked like okay when I first got her so when I first got Mia okay here she is so this is supposed to be Mia Sinclair I think she I can safely say that she is the worst um, doll or the worst condition doll that I ever received oh my god so I really have my work cut out for me I don't know why she looks this way um definitely her previous owner really did not to take care of her oh but she's so she has pen marks on her face and then as you can see her eyes are stuck okay so we have to take care of that and then okay her body is ripped <sighs> oh my god so i don't know what to do um this is actually worse than I expected. Okay, but okay, let's see. Um, I'll figure out something. Okay, so as you saw in that clip, okay, so she was really, really, really beat up. So I thought she, uh, she was, uh, submerged in flood water. She was very dirty, and okay, I might as well say this now. Okay, so. As you, could, as you saw in that video clip, she had very, 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 very extensive damage to her body. So what I did was, okay, so I had to throw away the stuffing and then I had to get her a new body. Okay, so here she is. Okay, so I could safely say that this is the worst or... Okay, yes, the worst, okay, um, restoration that I'm going to do on an American Girl doll. Uh, basically, I had to get rid of her body, well, what was left of her body anyway, because it was so rotted. I don't know what happened, she looked like she was stabbed, she was submerged in water. Uh, anyway, it was really disgusting, it was so dirty, and... Oh my god, I think there were bugs inside. Uh, it, I almost vomited. <laughs> it was really, really disgusting. But anyway, I, uh, I was able to clean her up. So now she's clean. However, I still have to remove um, the ink stain on her face. Okay, and then... Uh, okay, so here are her limbs. So what I'm planning to do is, I'm planning to do a Frankenstein. So if you don't know what a Frankenstein is, so I'm going to use this Our Generation doll, okay, that I don't really particularly care about. Okay, so I'm going to use her body. I'm going to try and attach her limbs, okay, the American Girl doll limbs in this torso, okay, the uh, Our Generation doll torso. 
and hopefully that will work so yeah okay then after that i'll try to fix her face so yeah so probably you can see it now so she has an our generation body right now okay so that's why she looks kind of different uh, originally i was intending on using the limbs okay and then use just using the our generation torso but i thought it will be too hard and i'm not really sure it will work okay so probably if i do get a chance to get a body okay um an american girl or even a, just a torso for uh from american girl then maybe i'll go ahead and do that and uh, switch her back to an american girl body instead of using the our generation one but anyway okay so enough of that so let's go ahead and compare the two okay claire okay has a few distinguishing features so one of them is um here her side part okay so if you think that this is just an ordinary side part you would be wrong okay so uh, she has a zigzag side part and as far as i know she's the only one who has that Okay, so as you saw in that clip, okay, so she has a zigzag side part. So that is unique to Mia St. Clair. Also, okay, what's unique about her is that she has very, very light freckles. She has a usual fre uh, freckle pattern, but then uh, her freckles are very light okay, compared to the other uh, dolls or truly me dolls. Then they both have um, reddish hair, okay, like a bit of a strawberry blonde. Mia's hair is actually semi-layered. Uh, Mia's uh, part is actually um, on their left side, while Truly me number 37's part is on the right side. Okay, I said earlier that initially I was intending to keep number 37 as a Mia stand-in but since I already have Mia so I gave her this bracelet and then I named her her real name Mia St. Clair okay and then ha as for number 37 so of course I don't want my dolls to have the same name okay in my collection so I gave her a new name so I just named her Mignonette okay so Mignonette is a French word which means favorite or darling in French of course okay so yeah, so I think it fits her. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope I can upload more in the future. Okay, that'll be all. Bye-bye!